My name's Captain Matt Edwards. I captain the RV Appalachia. It's a 63-foot aluminum catamaran. It's powered by two John Deere diesels that are 500 horsepower each. We carry 2,244 gallons of fuel on the boat, which allows us to really step offshore and stay out for up to six days at a time. The Appalachia is a great working platform because it allows researchers to cover vast amount of distances from deep water all the way to shallow water. And it allows us to get all types of research completed. With our location in the Big Bend, we're the only boat of this size that can do research from Tampa all the way over to Biloxi, which is nice because we're able to cover a lot of ground and people can come and rent our boat and they don't have to take a slower boat from somewhere else. We can accomplish a lot more work quicker and cheaper. And we do a lot of work with Dr. Dean Grubbs who does all the deep sea shark surveys. I'm Dean Grubbs. I'm uh, faculty and the uh, Associate Director of Research here at the FSU Coastal and Marine Laboratory. My research lab focuses on fisheries management and conservation uh, associated research primarily with sharks and rays. In 2013, uh, FSU made the investment to build the RV Appalachie and it proved to be invaluable to our work uh, in the deep sea. The, um, uh, advantages of the Appalachie are that one, it's maneuverable, it's fast, it's a very stable platform for us, and uh, between the reduced cost and the increased speed, we're actually able to do about four times as much research in the deep sea. We've actually worked uh, down to 2,000 meters or 7,000 feet deep, so more than a mile deep, uh, bringing up some of these uh, uh, crazy uh, poorly known deep sea uh, sharks and other fish. In fact, we've even discovered new species of, of sharks while aboard the RV Appalachie. So it's, it's really been a boon to, to the marine lab, uh, greatly increasing our, uh, our capabilities. So over here is the RV Appalachie. And right here is the big back deck that we have for the boat. This is a great work platform for all researchers. As you can see, we have a Van Veen right here. So this is a Van Veen grab. What we would do is launch this off the back deck by raising it with that winch through the A-frame and extending the A-frame out. Once it's over the boat, we'll send it down. It'll go down like this until we get slack in the cable. Once there's slack in the cable, it's hit the bottom. And we'll pull this up. And it grabs a scoop of the ocean floor. Then we'll start pulling it in. And we'll retrieve it back onto the deck by lifting it up, putting the A-frame in, and putting it right here. From this point, we'll have a bucket under here. And we'll open this up and your sample will fall right out into a bin and you can look and see what's in it. And then we will move on to the wet lab. Let's walk into the RV Appalachies wet lab. In here you'll find a saltwater wash down and a freshwater wash down as well as a deep freezer. This is where scientists come in and they take off all their wet clothes and they leave all their nasty gear in here and then they come into the dry lab. The dry lab is like their mobile office. This is where they record all their data onto computers and they store and file anything else that they could possibly need. There is also another refrigerator in here for food storage. We'll walk into the galley now, and the RV Appalachie has a full galley, which means it has a sink, refrigerator, microwave, and stove and oven. We also have a full head with shower and toilet and sink, which is nice whenever you're offshore for five or six days, you need to be able to take a shower. In here, we have the RV Appalachie's crew room. It sleeps four people, but they also hot bunk, which means They'll have eight scientists who work on the boat, but four will be sleeping and four will be working. 
then they'll rotate and the other four will be sleeping while the other four are working. We also have the RV Appalachies dining table. This is where the crew sits and eats and they also sometimes sleep there. Let's make our way up to the RV Appalachies wheelhouse and we'll see what's going on up there. So this is the captain's chair for the RV Appalachie. This is where we sit and we steer the boat. There's also uh, radar, sonar, and GPS on the boat. The radar we use to be able to see things on the water surface miles away. And the sonar allows us to get the depth from the bottom of the boat to the ocean floor. And the GPS gives us an exact location of where we are at any time on the water. We also have a hard compass built into the boat and the Appalachie was designed to have backup steering. So we have a steering wheel and a joystick. Having that also gives us the opportunity to have autopilot in which we can point the boat in one direction, hit a button and it will stay that course and go. Over here we have our chart table. Also behind that is where the captains sleep. It's a bunk bed that allows us to get rest whenever we've been out here for four or five days. We also have two VHF radios. We normally stay on 16 or 68. The RV Appalachia also has cameras throughout the boat so that we can be sitting in the wheelhouse and monitor what's going on. It's a great place to work. You always get to look out these windows and see really cool stuff. All right, guys, let's go to the RV Appalachia's top back deck. All right, guys, we're up here on the Appalachia's top deck. Up here, we have two 12-man life rafts as well as 16 adult life jackets. We have our knuckle boom up here. We also have our hydraulic winch and a stern steering station for the captain up here. The knuckle boom, we use it for all different types of research and to be able to load and unload the boat. The stern steering station is where the captain steers the boat and he observes work being done on the back deck from that position. All right, guys, let's go down to the RV Appalachia starboard engine room. Normally we wouldn't bring people down here, but we brought you guys down here to see this is one of two 944 KW Northern Light diesel generators that are on the RV Appalachia that allow us to have power while we are away from the dock. Also down here is one of two 500 horsepower John Deere diesels that power the RV Appalachia and allow it to go with a regular cruising speed of 12 to 15 knots. All right, guys, thanks for coming and looking at the RV Appalachia. If you have any questions or anything, come down to the waterfront. I'll be right here myself. I can answer all the questions that you have. For right now, I'm going to be loading up for Dr. Dean's Grubs deep sea uh, shark research. Until then, you'll have a good day.